there's a large number of people in the population in Namibia who are not keen really to get vaccinated, uh, m largely because uh, they are, in my view, af afraid or anxious or fearful uh, of this new vaccine, which is quite understandable, uh, but really more so also because of the, the um, litany of uh, misinformation and, uh, and, and fake news that uh, has been spreading on many, many platforms uh, in the media around these COVID-19 vaccines. I'm sure, you know, we are all aware of uh, the various uh, misinformation um, that has been circulating. So I think those really are the, the, the key points and the drivers uh, that are responsible for the, the uh, slow uptake mm -hmm. uh, um, in the vaccination. Mm -hmm. Now, doctor, we are well aware that in Namibia, the vaccines that we are currently in possession of, one is required to get two doses. But now what happens in an instance where a person just goes for their first dose and they don't go back for the second dose? The first dose of vaccines are definitely enough, right, to kickstart the desired immune response uh, that would ultimately protect against um, COVID-19 infection, against severe disease, and of course, uh, against, against death. Um, however, we also know from literature, from these, these, the science around uh, the clinical trials uh, of these vaccines, that the first dose is not enough to provide that ultimate, that um, optimum protection uh, against uh, COVID-19 infection and severe disease and, and death. Mm -hmm. So we really, really need to make sure and we really need to, to drive this um, message across to our people in, in Namibia that we need to vaccinate fully. What that means is people who have received their first dose of vaccines must go for the second dose uh, um, of the vaccine in order to get that optimal protection um, against COVID-19 infection, severe disease and death. Now, doctor, in order to see a reduction in infections, the aim is to um, see some, some sort of a herd immunity. What exactly will this take in our country for us to reach that? Right. So maybe just if I can recap really quickly, what is herd immunity, right? So it's the, the indirect protection from uh, an infectious disease that uh, happens when the population is immune. And that could be either through vaccination or, or through uh, immunity that they develop through previous infection. Now, I think it should also be clear that the WHO and certainly Namibia um, su supports achieving herd immunity through vaccination. Uh, not by allowing a disease to spread through any segment of the, 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 the population, which would ultimately then also result in unnecessary cases and deaths. Um, so, as I've said, to safely uh, achieve herd immunity, uh, Namibia has set a target of vaccinating roughly 60 to 80 percent of her population. Mm -hmm. Right now, as of yesterday's statistics, uh, we are only at around 1% uh, of people who have been fully vaccinated, those who have received their second dose of the vaccine. So we still have quite a distance to go. Now, um, to your question, um, what will this take? Mm -hmm. This will take people showing up in their numbers, of course, to get vaccinated. Um, and the message here is that they are not just vaccinated, they are not just, they are not just showing up to get vaccinated to protect, to protect themselves, but they are also showing up to protect those around them. Mm 